Hi, thanks for stopping by. Today we are going to engrave a Yeti Rambler. The things you will need is a window seal. I'll explain why. A caliper and your tumbler. Let me show you over my system here on what we are engraving today. Today we are engraving this image here, Soul Sisters. I'm going to move this image over here. Because you're doing it on a rotary, you have to flip it 90 degrees and mirror it. So I'm going to arrange, rotate 90 degrees clockwise. Now you'll see it's like this. Now we want to mirror it. That way it will engrave properly on the Yeti Ramblers. Now, next step is the window seal. I used this um, just recently because I noticed with this small mouse here that when you put it on your rotary, it sometimes, I would have to adjust my rotary, the, the jaws, every time I do it because it just, it gets uneven. So I use sponge window seal, large, and I place it right here on the inside, and then that way my jaws will have an easier way to grip to it instead of going all the way out and this potentially falling out. I will use some previous window seal I already have, so I don't have to cut more. Here it is. This is where the white sticker is. I just peeled it off. Now I'll place it inside. Okay, so now it's in. It just sticks to it, so it's really cool. Next. I will put it in my rotary so my claws are not big enough. Rotate to the right so the claws go in. Do go the opposite way to tighten it up. So I want to make sure that the top of the Yeti is touching the claws. Otherwise, if you only have two parts touching and a third is not touching, your word will be on a slant. All right, so now that this is centered, it's lining up to each three jaws perfectly. I'm going to hold this back so it's centered. Move this, grab the Allen key. And tighten it up that way it doesn't move. I also want to make sure this is flush with the side of the bed so that way I know it's straight. Next step, turn on the machine. Also, another tip with the caliper. So you're gonna turn your caliper on. I don't know if you can see it or not. Right now it's at zero. If for some reason, if it was point or dash 0 0.1, just hit the zero here and minus it out. Now what I'm gonna do is get the diameter. It is 83.87 millimeters. Use the short key, shortcut key, K. 
Command Shift R if you're using a Mac. Uh, looks like you have this in inches, so I'm going to just cancel this for a second because I want it in millimeters. So Command Comma, switch to millimeters. Do the shortcut to get to the rotary settings. 84 is what I previously had it at. So I'll use that. Settings read from controller successfully. That was perfect. I will now move the laser. Make sure it's centered before I turn my rotary on. Move the bed up because it's too far down. With my lens, I have a nine millimeter spacer. Every lens is different. All right. Move over. All right. So now I'm going to enable my rotary. Press OK. Click the rotary switch here. And if you want the light on. All right. So now what I want to do is my customer is wanting the image on the Yeti side where it's uh, not the shiny side. Same color as the cup. So I'm going to move this down. And I want to make sure it's centered. Looks like I want to move that up just a little bit. Not much. It's hard to tell if I am centered correctly because I know with the Yeti you have to be closer to the E to be centered. I'll also get my caliper. So from the end of the Y to the end of the I it is 42 millimeters. So half of that is 21. It looks like I might actually be on it. All right. Now she wants it in the middle of the cup. We're going to do absolute cord. So just in case if the engraving doesn't work, we can go back to the exact same spot. So I'm going to get position. So you'll see that my laser is actually over here. So I'm going to move this over. And that was in the middle of the cup. So I want to put the middle of the image there. All right, so now I'm going to frame it. And I frame quite a few times because with these Yeti cups, everything has to be centered. If you're off by two millimeters, it's a huge difference. And I need to be perfect. Frame it again. So I also compare it to see how big or how wide, oh, oh no, I just moved it. Okay. How far the laser goes out on the Y and the I. And if it looks pretty much even, then I know that I can start engraving. So now that we have it centered on the cup, we have our image 90 degrees and flipped. We have it on absolute cords. 
we moved it to the center of my laser. Now we're back on cuts and layers. So we want to make sure the fill, which is all of this in black, my settings for Yetis are speed of 175, the power min and max are both at 25, and I put interval at 0 0.05. That way it gets a finer engraving when it on the on the words, because I have noticed if it is 0 0.1. Sometimes I can get lines in the names that aren't actually engraved. So at least with interval that is half the size, then your engraving should always come out perfect. All right, so now we are going to close the lid, turn on the air, make sure our exhaust is on. Green light means on, my laser is on, my rotary is on, and now we are ready to go. So we are going to press start. So our cup is done. So I've already turned off the air, turn off the exhaust. Loosen this up. Take your Allen key to unloosen the bottom part. And here it is. Soul sisters. So now I'm going to show you how I clean this to get the nice silver look. So I will get out. Dawn Power Wash. This has been an uh, awesome trick that I have used to get the nice silver look. Before I would use Magic Eraser and scrub the heck out of it, um, but I've noticed with certain cups, if you scrub too much, uh, it will lose the shininess. So what I do is just spray like this. I'll let it sit for a couple minutes and then I'll come back and then we'll, I'll show you how to finish cleaning it. Okay, so we let this sit for a couple minutes. You'll see that it just dripped all the way to the bottom. I still use Magic Eraser, but not as heavy as I used to. I just slightly go over it. So I'm not putting any pressure at all. Now I will dry it quickly. Now I might have to wash a little bit more to get the sticky residue off, but it's a lot better than having scratches all around your cup. And there it is, the final product. So thanks for watching our video of engraving Yeti tumblers. To catch us more, making more videos, please hit the subscribe button on the bottom and like our video. See you next time.